<laughs> oh my god. I don't know if you'll believe this one. So I have an idea, and surprisingly, this might actually be one that you want to do, because this, this could be worthwhile for everybody out there to maybe make their GPUs last a little longer. And the whole reason I thought of this little plan here is that DigitalStorm had set this PC over for me to, you know, shoot for some ad clips, and I have to send it back, which is a bummer, because it's a pretty cool PC. But before I do so, they said, if you want to mess around with it, go ahead, and it has a 3060 in it, which I know is only a 3060, but it's literally probably the only 30 series card I will ever see and not because uh, I don't want one like all of us you just can't buy them so I was thinking of what we can do with it and I have an idea now we always monitor how hot our CPU and GPU are but when's the last time you ever thought about how hot is it in your case because most of us have air cooled GPUs it's just being cooled with the air inside the case so if the air inside the case is hot then your GPU is hot Eh? So I'm thinking if we can provide the GPU with a nice cool inflow of air, we can drop its temperature down, which would be good because if you're like me and you can't, you know, get a 30 series card, you want your current GPU to last as long as possible. So when like the 6080 comes out, you'll still have a card currently in use and you can you maybe buy one then. So I think we should give it a try. Thank you to Lester for sponsoring this video. If you're like me, most of your shopping happens online. However, sometimes it's hard to figure out if you're really getting the best product for your money, and this is where Luster can help. Luster is a free product research assistant that helps you make informed purchasing decisions. Say you're shopping for something like a new monitor, but you don't really know which one to buy. Luster will immediately tell you which ones are the best for your budget so you can be sure you're getting the best bang for your buck. You can actually see why people chose the products they did by checking reviews and ratings from sources that you trust, like Wirecutter, Reddit Discussions, and other YouTubers. Luster can even tell you if a product's on sale or compare prices across many retailers like Walmart, Target, or Best Buy. Online shopping is meant to be quick, so save time and money and always get the best products by installing Luster using the link in the description below. It's completely free. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just run this stress test for like 10 minutes, and I'm just trying to get the, the, the AIO heat soaked. It's set up like a normal case, AIO in the front, bring in air in to cool the CPU and then exhaust out the top in the back. I also have Fermark going just to generate some more heat. I do have MSI Afterburner also installed, but I just want it to be able to lock the, the fan curve. So I have it set to 80%. So for all the testing, we'll make sure that the GPU fans are always just at 80%. The case fans can do whatever the BIOS thinks is necessary. And I also bump the power limit and the temperature limit up. But yeah, we're gonna, we'll run it for 10 minutes, let the, the loop get all soaked up with heat. And then we'll put Taylor in there and we'll find out how hot the case gets and how hot the GPU gets after like 30 minutes or so and then we'll do some modifications. All right, Taylor, tell us how hot it is in there. <laughs> Taylor's just my thermometer. So I got, a, I got an indoor outdoor thermometer. This is gonna just measure the, the ambient room temperature. And then uh, the little Taylor outdoor side is gonna tell us how hot it gets in the case once I close it back up. So it's been a little over 30 minutes, as you can see inside the case there, Taylor is sitting at a whopping 53.8 degrees Celsius. In the room, it's saying it's 23.1 and the GPU has leveled off at 78 degrees. So that's, that's pretty toasty. Now I'll shut it down. We'll sh I'll shut these stress tests off, let it cool down a bit here, and then we'll, we'll make some mods. So here's the plan. In most cases, there's always these uh, spaces down here for more PCIe cards, like another, like back in the day when you could run dual graphics cards, maybe want to do a capture card or, you know, whatever you want. But, I'm thinking we remove these covers here and we could put some sort of active cooling solution in there to provide the GPU with some nice cool air. And also as a bonus, we could hide all this nonsense. Cause it's always, if you ever looked at a case when it's built up here, it's always looking good with the CPU cooler, the Ram, you got the graphics card. And then down here, you just got the, these horrible colored, you know, audio, HD audio cables, unused, you know, plugs and whatnot. It just doesn't look very good. We could cover it up. So for the active cooling part of this little build, I got this little tiny knock. Oh my God, that fan, that fan wrecked me. Anyway, I got this little tiny A9X14 knock to a fan and I want to be able to position it something like this underneath the card. And the idea is to draw air in through the back and then push it up through the card and out the top rather than cool the card with just the ambient hot, hot air in the case. And I did think ahead, I've made this little test shroud that I want to use. It's uh, a bit, <laughs> it's a bit rough, but if it works, 
we'll test it out. And so this is gonna go in here like so underneath this GPU and we'll, we'll run it. And if it works, we'll make something uh, a bit more visual appealing. Let's, uh, let's see how it goes. So this is just gonna slide in like so. Get the fan lead out the back. Just kind of like that. And just in case you're wondering, I'm gonna power the fan with an external power supply. And I'll just run the stress test for a little longer just to just get the internal temperature back up. Another 10 minutes and then we'll start the stress test. See if we uh, gain any ground doing this. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know if you'll believe this one. Uh, but I mean, even just look at the case temperature. So case temperature right now is 45.7, which is lower than it was previously. Uh, room temperature 22.9. So the case itself is cooler since we're drawing in more cool air, but the GPU temperature is currently sitting at like 63 degrees, which is insane considering that we just ran this in its stock configuration and it was 78. I was kind of just expecting maybe five degrees or so, but wow. Everything else is the same. We're running Furmark, we're running a IDA 64, fan speed locked at 80. I think that proves, that's a good, Proof of concept. I think we just need to make it look um, not like a dumpster fire. So we'll do that now. Much better. Uh, it did take way too long to do that. Essentially, all I did was make the uh, front of it rounded and I just wanted to print it out of some less noticeable uh, plastic. I, I did add the logo and the backlight, which is just a, little, just a little extra that I thought was cool looking. But the problem is, is I went in the back room over there, grabbed a spool of black material, put on the printer, hit go late last night, the night before that actually, to uh, just let it print overnight. So it's like a 16 hour print. Came down in the morning and it had failed because I forgot. I don't have any black PLA. I only have black ABS and uh, yeah, I pegged that one. But anyway, after I did that, I ended up using some Form Futra Space Gray, I think. And it actually looks pretty good. And the, um, the LEDs came out pretty good. I just used some standard RGB diodes, wired them up onto a normal three pin motherboard connector, plugged into the motherboard. The fan is also now plugged into the motherboard. And I have it just running full speed because it's an octo fan, really quiet. Don't really notice it. I just want as much airflow as possible. Uh, to diffuse the light on the, uh, the RGBs, I just simply printed some flat pieces of clear or transparent PLA, put a little slit in there, put the uh, RGBs in there with some hot glue, and that's it. It's really simple. And 
I'll go as far to say, as long as it still works, this might be the actu this might actually be the most useful thing I've ever made. And the, the amount of effort it took to make it, other than my don't know how to read material labels, it was very easy. I think anybody can do it. But now we just need to test it and make sure it actually does as good as the other one. Hopefully maybe, maybe a little better. I did lengthen it just a little bit more to uh, cover that back fan up. But let's run it again with Taylor in there and see how it finishes. And we'll go from there. So we are about to hit 30 minutes. GPU is currently sitting at 63 degrees. CPU about 81, 82. Inside the case is 43.6. Outside 22.3. Uh, again, also the GPU's fan speeds are locked at 80. The shroud itself, 100%, that little 92 millimeter fan's just zipping away. But it's actually, it's, it's pretty impressive how cool the GPU is staying relative to how hot it got when we ran the same test with it just cooling with the ambient air temperature in the case. Just for a bit of context, while I was waiting for this to kind of heat up and run the stress test, I was also playing a little bit of Overwatch on my gaming PC, which is a full water-cooled system, two radiators, 2080 Ti, 3950X, and that GPU during the same amount of time got up to about 60 degrees, which is not far off of what this 3060 is currently hitting, and it's air cooled. I mean, if you had a 3D printer and you went and grabbed the models, because I would be putting this on my Thingiverse account, it'd cost you a, a few bucks maybe in material if you didn't already have it sitting around, versus an entire water cooled system, which is a bit more. But I'm, I'm actually shocked at how well this turned out. Because of that though, I would not be surprised if you started seeing stuff like this show up for sale uh, on the internet. I mean, I guess they already have GPU add-in coolers where essentially like two fans mounted to a plate that you put underneath it. But even then you're just cooling the GPU with hot air inside the case. Whereas this, you're pulling cool air from the back, pushing up through the card. You're keeping the case a little cooler and the GPU is running so much cooler than it did before. And we all know that when you keep electronics cool while they're in use, it normally lasts a little longer. I'll put this model, I'll make another one without my little name on there. I'll put it on my Thingiverse account so you can download it. And you can use it as like a template to see the whole spacing I use, the offsets, the angles. Um, if you have this exact digital storm set up with a 3060, you could just print it and use it. But either way, you should be able to make this for your own gaming PC relatively inexpensively and get a performance boost that you normally only see with liquid cooling. And I think that's pretty awesome. But remember, if you do see it for sale, uh, you saw it. You saw it here first, and you can get it for free. So head over to my Thingiverse. Thank you guys for watching. Get subscribed. Share this video with somebody uh, you know that wants to keep their GPU a little cooler. Get subscribed. We'll see you next time.